down and have the white. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to record it too, just because I've got a storm, just in case. Excellent. Oh, good, good idea. Um, so I, the mom says, oh, that's a really nice show. I said, yeah, I said, that's like the best one. And her son pulls up just like this, okay? Uh -huh. Most of the color missing. The crown was this big, this, okay? Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Huge. And they said they spent quite a while trying to dig it, dig it out of the, the sand in the yeah. water. Oh, and wow. Because it was almost completely white, our guess is it's probably a couple of million years old. Whoa. And, uh, so it was neat. But I mean, we, my, I have a picture of my son. He's holding, I call it the stack of pancakes. He's holding live sand dollars like this. He had a good 20 of them in his hand. Oh, he my God. The water I love up. it. That's so Starfish, cool. Starfish, they would come up live. They caught a four foot black tip shark from the beach, Jose and what? William did it. Oh, I'm not kidding you. Oh. And fish left and right out of the water. Um, it, it just, we, we swam with manatees. Wow. We weren't expecting it was a mom and her calf. And yeah. uh, we were on jet skis near dolphins. We, I, it just was amazing. That's it wild. Was an amazing trip. It was, I, I, I mean, I went down there for fun and relaxation. I didn't know I was going to be surrounded by so much nature and so many different right. animals, but it was phenomenal. It was wow. great. I'm yeah. going to have to go check out Sanibel then too. You gotta check I didn't out realize Sanibel. the shells were like that good. Piper and I go and pick up shells all the time, but they're all like the teeny tiny ones. <laughs> so you froze on me, but keep talking. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Sorry. Stormy. They I was just saying Piper the likes the, shells shells. the ones that they, they really yeah, she should have a blast because they don't break up that much. There are there they have scallop shells and a lot of different colors. Um, they used to be known for um, conchs, like oh, you yeah. know, like you could find conchs sitting on the right. on the beach. Um, they're a little more protective of it all now, but um, it's a very preserved island. They don't allow chains, whether it's restaurants or hotels, on the island. Oh, and okay. Nothing is more than like four or five stories. Um, it's all preserved. The nature is preserved. There's um, a uh, place that we went kayaking through called Ding Darling Nature Preserve. And it was just amazing. We, we, we swam with, a, there was a sea turtle, a baby sea turtle. And mm -hmm. the woman said, you saw the sea turtle? I said, yeah. She goes, we've known he's been in there for a while. You need to go get a lottery ticket because we haven't seen him for months. Oh, so, wow. Um, so it was just, like I said, it was just, it That's was a cool. really great trip. Yeah. So I'm sorry. So Long story short, yeah, that's awesome. We got together. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's awesome. That's fun. Um, yeah, I was say, I don't know. Can you hear yeah. the thun? Can you hear the thunder on your end? No, no. Okay, I it was kind of loud. It was kind of loud, I so I didn't know. I wonder if that's what made you freeze. Probably because you <laughs> for a second. I wonder if I hold still and I keep real quiet. Can I fool Amy? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> I could say you picked out quite a selection. I'm going to let you talk. Yeah. Oh, sure. So, yeah. So we, Nancy and I are your two favorite tea ladies <laughs> and we are, we are back uh, for this month's tea tasting. Uh, I picked the selections and I did all wine themed ones just for fun because I found one and then I found two and I was like, oh, there's three of them. <laughs> so we'll just do that. Well, I love them. And by the way, I, I think it's 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 totally worth mentioning. You have a new backdrop today. Oh, thank you. Yes. yes. So I created this late last night for just on a whim when I should have been doing other things, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> other things on the computer, but I had I have a background that I made up for B and I that I like but it's all white. And then it just like, I don't know. I don't like being just like in an all white, I don't know, room <laughs> when I'm on screen. So I was like, I need a picture. I need something in the background uh, that doesn't look so shoppy. So, uh, because my other stuff just has like product images and whatever. Right. So then it says like, put the tea in the clouds. <laughs> yeah. And still keep the queen with me. <laughs> of course, of course. And, and okay, so I see Cherry Rose Jubilee. Ah, yep. Good job. Thank you. Um, is that your maple one? Uh, no. No. Nope. The one with the, okay, here. This yes, one? That one? Yes, that one. That one is actually blood orange. Black. Okay. That one's really good. I have someone in B&I who's like addicted to that one. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. and what then, can you guess it, this one? What's, it looks like lavender. It just looks yeah. like straight up lavender. Yep, it's straight up lavender. Yay. Just made for tea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then, English breakfast. Uh -huh. 
nope it's it's one of my ones with the super long name but it's basically earl gray with jasmine in it if that tells oh, me so it's earl gray with jasmine in it <laughs> It's Buckingham Palace Garden Party. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. Very good. It's the world's Lovely. longest name. I, and I love the happy picture of the queen. Very good. She doesn't look like she's, you know, tied to a chair and um... <laughs> yes. yeah. fulfilling her duty against her will. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Yes. We will talk more royals in a little bit here, too. I but know. Before yes. the water becomes tepid. Oh, you're right. Yes. Let's do that. So, okay. So, I'm going to attempt to show all of these before I put them in my tea bags. So, okay, this one, if you can see it. So these are like little dried kind of fruit pieces. This is the sangria. And then the ice wine is not exciting to look at because it comes pre-bagged. Gotcha. <laughs> because it's so fine. And then this dark one is the Merlot. And it's like dark, kind of like, almost like a deep red color. There's a lot of reds in it. But now I'll put it in my bags and add my water. Oh, they all smell great. Yeah. I'm going to say, I, I <laughs> love this. The ice wine. Yeah. Mm. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, that one smells really good. Yes, and yes. yeah, and I don't know if you saw, uh, but last Friday you missed, we have a new tea lady addition to our tea group on Friday. Her name is Louise. I and see I was, that you did it. It was just the two of you. Was it just yeah, we did, yeah, she was, yeah, she was my guest on a virtual tea time show and, but uh, Trevor is the one who introduced us to each other. So she Trevor's lives very out. very good about that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. He's very good about that. And she's, she lives out in Las Vegas and her whole, uh, I guess they, I say like, you know, we each kind of have a bit of our own niche. Uh, her whole thing is just like basically the love of loose leaf tea and you don't have to be fancy about it. She's just there to tell you, like, you know, spread. I say, I call it spreading the gospel. Yeah, <laughs> of loose leaf yes. tea. And, yeah, and that you can be a coffee drinker and a tea drinker. You don't have to, it's not mutually exclusive because she was a tea drink, or I mean, a coffee drinker. And now she also drinks tea. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. So I, that's your whole thing. Hold that thought. Again, it's summer. Kids are at school. Come yep. Here. Come here. Can you say hello? Come hello. on in. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, you can, you can call him Amy. Lady Amy. Uh, hi, Miss Amy. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh, okay. She's got a friend here and she drew a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Can you go back and play, okay? Okay. Okay, goodbye. Got <laughs> Miss Crypto. Oh, oh. No, no idea. No idea. All right. Are you pouring the water? I'm going to pour the water. Yes, here. I'm pouring the water. And I'm back again. I'm back to tap water. <laughs> Mine is filtered. Okay. Not, not hot, not store, but oh, this first one's beautiful. It's purple. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, that's these are going to be. That's a really cool color. Well, it's, I guess it's like uh, sangria. Sangria is a nice that, that's, red. Well, that's it's just, yeah. Color. The lighter one yeah i have a very yeah. berry that i've done before and it 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 actually turned it, it was almost like you know how beet juice is yeah yeah the tea was that color it was very very red so that's funny that you say that because so before you logged on i was <laughs> copying and pasting a bunch of stuff into the chat for myself to read <laughs> Since you always have information about your tea, and I'm like, I don't know, it tastes fine. <laughs> so the sangria does have the ingredients, apple, hibiscus, rose hip, and beet pieces. <laughs> so there's your beets. Did you just say beet pieces? Yeah, that's what I said. That's yeah, you mentioned crazy. beets, and I was like, I saw. <laughs> well, there's the red then. That makes sense. Yep. So we shall see. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying, yeah, like that's definitely, yeah, the red, red. I say hibiscus usually gives it a kind of a pinky purple. It but, does. It yeah. does. This is, this is um, almost a fuchsia. This is a, it's a mm -hmm. beautiful color. You know what I don't have? Because I'm, I thought I was prepared. I have a spoon. Oh, so close. I know. It's like I almost had everything ready and almost left my water behind. <laughs> like it was ready. I just didn't have it over go. here at the table. <laughs> 
Oh, well, at least it was right there. That's easy. Um, so I know I showed you this. I, I keep catching it in my hand. So I know I sent you the picture of this, my yes, new awesome. my new royal ring. So the the old one was like maybe a third of the size. Yeah, it was much smaller. So that's much that's smaller. noticeable. Yes, but, yes. But it doesn't look gaudy on your hands. You Thank know? you. Thank you. Yeah, I was like trying to look at it compared to the ones on like Kate and Diana in pictures. And like, well, it definitely seems like theirs definitely look bigger than the one I was wearing. Right. So, but I don't know if it's this big. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't found measurements or anything yet, <laughs> but I, I like it. it. It works for Zoom because you can definitely pick it up. <laughs> oh yeah, yes, and and it it your, your shirt pulls the blue out in the stone That's too. That's right. <laughs> I just want to show you this real quick. This pretty little teacup. Oh my goodness! Lid. Isn't that That's cute? Adorable. Yeah. That's really cute. Does so that just like to keep the heat in? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody Thank gave that you. one of the donations. As a matter of fact, I just got another Girl Scout tea for mid July. And one mm -hmm. of the moms who was my neighbor, she goes, I keep meaning to bring my teacups to you. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to take my ice wine out because it looks like that I one see. is a dark yeah. black tea. The same. Okay. And then we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk royal today too, unless you've got oh, yeah. anything else in your agenda. Oh no, I don't have anything. Okay. Yeah, so I will just <clears throat> read my brief thing about the teas as we go through them. I do I um, want to hear about them? This other so, one is unusual. The last one, the the French, um, the Merlot. Yeah, we're just gonna call it Merlot because they yeah. may not speak French. Um, <laughs> There, it started off being a little bit pink, and now the, it's like the pink combined with the amber. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, it's like it's almost like a reddish tint to it. And uh, yeah, it's almost it's like a wine color. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's like a Merlot. <laughs> should have occurred to me earlier. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's awesome. Because okay, um, you know well, I'm not going to try these without share. That's okay. I was like, okay, I got to find my notes because I didn't paste them in here in a certain order. And I put, pasted more than I really cared to read. Um, okay, let's see. Who do we have now? Um, not Merlot. We're looking at Sangria. Okay. Yeah, it, it's definitely not a, well, you and I probably both know that herbal tea isn't actually tea because it doesn't actually contain um, sinensis leaf, if I said Correct. that correctly. And so, so it's, is it technically a, t I can never say, is it tisane? Tisane? Tisane. Tisane, okay. Okay, so it's a tisane then? Yeah, tisane herbal tea, yeah, that's the basic okay. what it is. Were they, Herbal were they, and tisane are the same thing. Okay, I was thinking tisanes were like fruit, straight up fruit. I wasn't sure. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe I need to. Um... Well, we can we can fact check that. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, so the uh, I'm adding sugar to mine now. The Roman Empire is actually responsible for sangria. <laughs> really. Um, yeah, so it's, it is believed the ancient Romans inadvertently invented sangria through the practice of adding wine to water to disinfect drinking water as they expanded their territory. Um, and then it says fruit was probably added later as a way of masking the flavor of wine that may have soured during their long voyages. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I'm not sure. but, Once it's been corked, it's not so good after a couple of days. Yeah. That's right. So as time marched on, sangria came to be known as the de facto beverage of Spain and Portugal. <laughs> I love a good sangria. In the summer, I love sangria. Yes. Yeah. I, okay. I'm going to taste. Let's see. Mm, good. I can definitely taste the hibiscus. Definitely taste the hibiscus. Yeah. It, it, it lends a, a tart. Yeah. Not pleasantly, but a tart quality to it. Mm -hmm. it second sugar. Yeah, I'm going to add some more sugar too. Mm -hmm. It Yeah, it tastes a lot. When I worked at Argo Tea in Chicago, they have an apple hibiscus 
drink uh, that I really liked. It was good hot, but it was really good cold too. Okay. Like, like, yeah. So I bet you could probably make this cold. Um, but so this one, this particular blend, uh, let's see, it's Egyptian hibiscus with apple, rose hips, and red slices of beets. So for a warm, deep, red, whiny character. <laughs> you know, I actually get the beet out of that too. I think I do. Yeah. I love beets. So you know, I, I say, I don't think I'd probably tried it. I know I've said forever that I didn't like them and I, cause my mom loves them. <laughs> like, mm. What is it? Harvard beets? Is that technically right? When they're like, have the sauce stuff on them or whatever? I, I don't know. My mother would serve beets, but she would thicken the sauce. Mm -hmm. and add a lot of sugar to it um mm -hmm. so i think in the end there was nothing remotely redeeming or healthy about them um, <laughs> um in recent years um i i've found places that have like um warm beet and goat cheese salad and it's outstanding so i've been able to make that before i tried to make it here um so I know they're very good for you when when prepared properly and they haven't been sitting in a can and they haven't right. had you know a half a cup of sugar added to them then yes mm. mm -hmm. that is good i really like this one yeah. i do too. i to me this would be dessert or afternoon when i'm looking for that something sweet yeah i would yeah, definitely I do, do that, that. Mm. yeah i think it's good this one is naturally caffeine free yeah, so if yeah. We get, if we get hyped up, it's only from the sugar we added. <laughs> <laughs> like that fake hyped up, like when people have been drinking non-alcoholic wine. Oh, right, right. <laughs> they act like they're drunk. All the time. Yeah. It's the placebo effect. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Amy's okay. bringing the vocabulary today. She's on. <laughs> so now we have our... Okay, so the next one we're doing is called ice wine. Yes, and it smells amazing. It yes. really does. It's a black tea. Ah, so let me yeah, find. Oh, so good. And this is the one that came in a tea bag ahead of time. Usually, mm -hmm. when they do that, <clears throat> excuse me, mm -hmm. it's because it's so fine grain, like you know the the tea yes. leaves, whatever they're mixing. Right. So uh, the let's see. I just love the smell of it. It is very pleasant. You get the black tea notes, but you can get something that tastes like, or that smells like wine too. So I, right. they're great, maybe. That's funny you mentioned it. It was like right as I was reading it. So the base black tea is noted by a floral bouquet and flavor notes, uh, touches of mild astringency, astringency <laughs> and a bright coppery color. Uh, yep. But yeah, but so the ice wine that you and I were talking about before, uh, we went live. Um, I don't know a whole lot about ice wine in general as a wine, other than uh, apparently, like, it's only made from frozen grapes, and each frozen grape will yield just one drop of ice wine. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, compared to if you were making regular wine with unfrozen grapes. Right. Um, yeah, so it's a lot yeah, more, I guess, labor intensive. Um, but yeah, so it's got, let's see, it can offer notes of like peach, pear, honey, dried apricot, green ape, or green apple, green apple. <laughs> they just said apricot. <laughs> apples. Apples, yeah. Apples, I love apples. <laughs> Aples and navels. I like that. I do. And now this one has a, it says it's got a high antioxidant content. Um, that means it's good for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it says the longer you steep your tea, the more polyphenols <laughs> will be extracted, which <laughs> antioxidants. <laughs> That's, do you yeah. like it? <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah, I know. It's like, I'm just trying to read. Yeah, yeah. The, my notes. Okay. Yes, I like it. Yeah. Do you like That's it? Good. Mm hmm I do. I think I, think I, I need just a bit more morning. sweetener. Yeah, I would do this in the morning or, you know, I, I think this would be a good offering for post dinner. Um, you know, instead of reaching for that glass of wine, I could see yeah, me right. doing this. That's true. Especially yeah, this, a cool it's evening. a nice, yeah. And it does have at least a bit of caffeine because it's got black tea, which I always, I place value on caffeine. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think I'm a much nicer person when there's caffeine in the world. I really do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my family. Mm. Um, Enjoy that. I like that. The, the smell is mm -hmm. met well by the taste. Because you and I have sometimes smelled things before and then gone and tasted and go. That's true. Oh, where, That's where true. Where did the flavor go? You're right. It does. Yeah, it matches up. And it didn't yeah. need that much sugar. Mm -mm. Yeah, so now I'm going to go back and smell the sangria. Let's see if it matches. It matches. It's just the flavor. It's a lot more flavorful <clears throat> than even the smell on the mm. sangria. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> our third one, our French one. <laughs> la la. Merlot Domaine Chantel. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> so let's see. So this one, I won't read all the ridiculous details, but essentially Merlot ends up coming from a word meaning young blackbird <laughs> in reference to the grapes dark blue color. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, then it talks about the history of Merlot itself and like how it was a smooth wine, now it's not, blah, blah, blah. We go back to 1700s. <laughs> and let's see, we'll, we'll skip through that. Um, but this one, let me see. So the caffeine content is low. Uh, the antioxidant ca content is low. <laughs> low, okay. Yeah. And okay, here we go. Ingredients: <clears throat> elderberry, currant, okay. hibiscus petals, black tea, drink. Uh -huh. and then it says natural flavors. So mysterious. I hate that natural flavors thing. If it says it's natural flavors to me, that means it's probably not. I know. Natural. I know. Well, it does. It says in uh, parentheses organic com compliant. <laughs> okay. So whatever these gotcha. secret ingredients are. <laughs> gotcha. Well, I think again, it's a very pleasant smell. Mm -hmm. A little more tart to the smell than the previous one. I feel like I can, I don't know, this one, I guess, has more of a whiny flavor to it. It does. I can taste the, the grapes of it. Yes, I'm going right. to have a little, I need yeah, a little what, more sugar. Yeah, it was like, is it, let's see. Because <clears throat> I have an elderberry tea that I have that's just elderberry and black tea. Um, I feel like maybe the current has a lot to do with this one maybe what does the current look like <laughs> pop quiz <laughs> do you know i have no idea i could find it on my phone real quick i'm picturing something either like a cranberry or like a raisin <laughs> so i don't know which <laughs> yeah it's like google time <laughs> let's see, right let's see oh look amy mitchell sent me a zoom link um <laughs> <I'll do that. laughs> let's see what am I looking up? Uh, current. That's right. C-U-R-R-A-N-T. <laughs> are, aren't they small black berries, I think? I don't know. Oh, are they? oh yeah, I guess I'm trying like current, like jam and stuff. You're right, like black grant jam. Yeah. Current or grant? I never. Oh, I always say current, but I don't know. I'm from Indiana, so. <laughs> 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 Honey, I was raised in South Georgia. That doesn't mean you can't learn it. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. So they almost look, yeah, they almost look like a blueberry, but just rounder. Like right. Little, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very round. Um, okay. So I'm also going to look up the pronunciation. Which one? The pronunciation. Oh. <laughs> current, current, current. How to pronounce current, current, yeah. current. Well, like scallops, but I guess somewhere along the way I've heard scallops. And I started- Oh, really? I've always thinking, said scallops. Like, I know, I've seen scallops, but some, it had to have been a British show. Oh, sure, yeah, scallops. scallops. Mm -hmm. And I started saying scallops about halfway through Santa Bell and my husband was just like, what? I'm like, sorry, scallops, scallops, scallops. <laughs> you know, scallops. <laughs> scallops, honey. I said it's meant to say scallops. Yeah, I'm not fine. I just need a dictionary. No, they only give me like a, a, a verbal. I don't want a verbal. I just want to. <laughs> you want to read it? 
Yes, I do. Let's see. How to say. So you're mentioning TV shows. I have to bring Sorry. this up tea time yeah. on Friday, especially with yeah. Kat. So I've been watching a show on Netflix that's called Still Game. And it is, I be, I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw that it's Scottish. Uh, their accents are definitely not English, uh, but I think they, yes, I think they're Scottish, but it's essentially based around these two older guys who I believe are not really that old, but it's the actors, you know, dressed up, but it's essentially kind of like watching what retirees in Scotland do. <laughs> and like, I mean, all they do is like, just walk around and get in just like funny little social situations. They go to the, you know, to the local, to the pub and whatever, just like dumb stuff. But the way that they talk, like I always have the captions on anyway, because uh, Piper doesn't always let me hear TV, so I read a lot of TV. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I've been doing that like since she was one, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it helps that I read it, but it is uh, just so funny. Uh, yeah, just watching him like the first episode, you're like, oh, it's kind of slow. Like it's definitely not like a fast American show, um, but it ends up getting really funny as you get to know the characters and. Uh, one thing that I just say is I keep hearing in my head, it hasn't happened yet in person, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to start saying shite. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so funny that you would mention that because we just finished watching The Professor and the Madman. And, and that's Mel Gibson and it's based uh -huh. on a true story. It's Mel Gibson and Sean Penn. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say Jennifer Ellie. And if those who, if you don't know Jennifer Ellie, if you go back to Pride and Prejudice with mm -hmm. Colin Firth, Jennifer oh, Ellie okay. was Elizabeth Bennett. Yeah. So she plays Mel Gibson's wife. And it is, I'm going to tell you, it is brilliant movie. Mm -hmm. Absolutely well done, especially, I, I'm a word person. And this is about how the Oxford English Dictionary came to be and some mm -hmm. of the struggles. But Mel Gibson and, um, and Jennifer Ellie have um, a very strong uh, Scottish accent. Oh, and it has turned the voice in my head into something that resembles Scottish, and I like the the deep rolled R's from the back of your mouth. I don't know how they do yeah. that. I think I'd be exhausted after a paragraph. It takes so much, it seems, to get something out as as a Scot. So I, I right. Oh yeah, but yeah. I, anybody watching, highly recommend the movie. The acting was brilliant. I mean, it what's was it? Great. What's it called so, again? The Professor and the Madman. Okay, The Professor and the yeah, Madman. Professor okay. Madman. It was, I'm sorry, one second. Jackie, yeah. shh, thank you. <laughs> but it was, it was very, very good. Loved it. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, yeah so the, you said, you know, that you get the Scottish thing going in your head. I, I totally get that. Yes, yeah. So I'm gonna have to see if Kat, if that show is much of a deal over in Scotland. Like it's produced by BBC Scotland. So I would imagine mm -hmm. that it's a thing over there, but I'll have to ask her like, sort of who, like, who's the demographic that even watches it? Like, is it yeah. weird that I like it? Right. <laughs> or not? Right. Well, did you, ever, did you ever watch Monarch of the Glen? Did you ever watch that one? Uh-huh. No. Uh -uh. Like modern day, um, modern day, like, I think it was, like, early 2000s that that one mm -hmm. takes place in, but um, the son who's in, um, I think he's in London actually trying to set up um, a restaurant with his girlfriend and he gets called back his mom tells him that his dad the laird of the manor is uh, is dying turns yeah. out that he wasn't um, but a whole series goes on from this um, yeah. and I always wondered that too I'm like it's it's really kind of a cheesy sitcom yeah very, very family friendly very clean um, but I was like yeah and I wonder how popular this was actually right with the people over there right so. that's funny well I wouldn't call mine family friendly because they <laughs> shite was like the the pg word right of right. the whole episode oh my yeah. goodness they that's call funny. yeah uh we'll say they call everyone uh an illegitimate child <laughs> okay gotcha yeah yeah yep, yep. I hear you I hear you like just very flippantly like uh, yeah it's just part like, vernacular yeah, yeah. It's like there's a lady who's like the gossip. Her name's Isa, and they're always like, "What is it, Isa?" Yeah, <laughs> they just call it, and it's no big deal. <laughs> and it, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's just. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm sorry again. Summer's here, and kids are home. Just one. I know. That's why I was like, "Let me say." I was like, "What is the meaning of it?" Oh yeah, illegitimate. <laughs> no, no, I have somebody here. What's up? Yes, you may be very, very careful. 
and then this needs to be taken care of when you get back. Okay. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Sorry. Still mom. Okay. Mom first. <laughs> mom first. Okay. Hey, so yeah. what do you think? Number three, the Merlot. Okay. So number three. I like it. Um, I think, okay. So I think the ice wine is number three for me. I'm trying to figure out which one I like. I really like the Merlot. Um, so the sangria is like so good and it's just like sweet and fruity. I feel like the Merlot um, to me is like a mix between the two. It's like you still have black tea, but you have like the fun, I guess, hibiscus and things in there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to agree. Um, this is definitely the winner to me, the um, the Merlot. Mm -hmm. um, the other two are good in their own right. Mm -hmm. um, I, let me say this. I think all this has like a juice quality. I would love this as an iced tea in the summer. Yeah, the sangria. Really refreshing. Yeah, yeah. Um, same with the tisane, uh, uh -huh. the sangria. I think this would also be delicious over ice. Right. Um, this one would still be a nice morning offering or something after dinner, after dessert, something right. like that. If you're looking, you don't really want to have the wine and the alcohol, but you're, you know, want something just to warm you up inside. I would, I mm -hmm. would go with this. Right. Yeah, I think the ice wine. Yeah, it's good that it's. Uh, I guess it's the most black tea tasting of the three yeah. is what yeah. I'm noticing. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yes, but with the, the hints of fruit, the hints of frozen grapes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I, I like them. They're very good. And thank you I, for sending those because yes, those yes thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. And um, I was going to say, so today I'm drinking out of three identical cups because I was like, I was thinking, I was like, let me just see, like, you know, because then you can like see them equally, whatever. True. But so I'm drinking out of my, oh, 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 you can't even see it. Yeah, it's like, it's my, <laughs> my wedding china. Oh, very good. Yes. But like, I, you can't, yeah, it's like, you can't see it on here, but it's like, there's little scrolly things, but there's little like drops that look like pearls, like along the edges. Oh, pretty. Who is it by? Uh, Linux. Oh, yeah. you, you got, you got good quality, sweetheart. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's, this uh, one is called, or this line, I guess it's called Opal Innocence. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Uh, my mom has a friend that she, you know, when my mom told her um, we were getting married, we were getting, you know, and I had a registry and she said, well, what Lennox did she get? And my mom said, uh, I think she went with Noritaki. She didn't get Lennox. Oh my God. That's <laughs> no, she I didn't get it. Lennox. <laughs> look at that 23 years later we're still married who knew i know i know <laughs> so that's hilarious because when i was like oh just linux because i feel like i don't know everybody has linux i guess <laughs> I <didn't think> <laughs> it's definitely top quality it's definitely it's, it's good stuff but nobody nobody registers for that stuff anymore so right right yeah i know i was very big on it uh you know round was that 2009 2010 or whatever right, where right. people like still I mean at that point in time people were already not registering for that stuff because they're like oh a lot of people don't even have formal dining rooms or living rooms anymore no, and no. then when we were shopping for our house like <laughs> our realtor would just kept laughing at me because I'm like the only one my age that is asking him to show us places with formal rooms as well as dining <laughs> <formal> rooms <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I, you've Most seen people just want, mine, and yeah. and you know that's what Jose calls this my Mount Vernon room. It doesn't look anything like Mount Vernon, but you know it, it, it. it definitely they are they are more formal quarters. I have to say, and and you can yeah. see my china cabinet well, back exactly. here. And I, yeah, yeah. My, I have some crystal. I've inherited some silver from my mom. I've got you know this was a wedding. A couple of things that were wedding. Right. Presents. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and I do have my. This is my wedding china up here, and most of it's tucked down under here. Oh, nice. Yeah, now, I've, I've probably asked you this before. Do you polish that teapot? Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. How often do you have to do it? <laughs> um, I, it's probably just shy of needing it done again. Um, but I used this for that bridal shower. So that mm -hmm. was in May. So it's been, yeah. it's been over a month. Um, now this, it, mine is not solid silver. It's silver plated. So, okay. um, but yeah, it, it needs, it needs cleaning up. And um, I remember as a younger girl, 
uh, with my two sisters, I remember silver polishing day mm -hmm. and it would come about twice a year. My mom would pull us oh out, she'd, you know, and my mom had just so much. Yeah. Stuff, but she had to be a Downton Abbey servant. <laughs> Absolutely. I needed a Carson and a Butler pantry. And, um, yeah. Uh, and I still have a couple of pieces. I wonder if I can show it to you. I don't know. You, you mentioned Downton Abbey. Yes. I have this in here. I'm going to have to find it for you. Okay. Like the, the cigarette thing with the handle and the, the lid and oh really yeah like, <laughs> yes I awesome. do my mom's gonna give it away I said no 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 yeah yeah so that's I'm awesome show it to you. it's somewhere back here but so, yeah I had I had a silver like set like that it was just one that I found at like an antique shop and got it yeah. kind of cheap uh and was like oh I'll put all this shit up I did. It took me like forever because it was like tarnished. I mean, it was like past. Wow. Yeah. And so I got it to like something of, you know, uh, back to its <laughs> former glory and had it, you know, on display. And then I was just like, I would see it and like need it. You know, it's like getting back to that. I'm like, I don't, I don't care anymore. <laughs> so I just let it, I let it get like as tarnished as possible. And what was so funny, this is like back in Indiana, we had friends over for a tea party, like a co-ed tea party. And um, one of the friends was like, that's so cool what you did with your tea set. And I was like, what? Because it was around Halloween time. She thought I had made it that way for the Halloween tea. And I go, no, I just don't polish my stuff. <laughs> that looks like how we get that around. I wanted it to look freaky walled. <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, well, you know, there are places I go to look for um, teacups and saucers and, you know, unusual salad plates and stuff for tea parties. Oh, yeah. and, uh, and the shelves are just filled with silver sets and silver teapots and. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they're all blackened and most yep. of them need to be polished again and um and they're beautiful but what am i going to do with them you know right I, right it's nobody needs them anymore nobody you're gonna, them. yeah you're just gonna look at them and wait till it's time to polish them again <laughs> right they're gonna sit in a box down in the basement somewhere right. which I do with the rest of my tea party stuff so <laughs> hmm. that's really funny so, so um okay so we got to talk Royals, right? Where where have we left off on the Royals? I don't know when we left. <laughs> Let, let's talk about what's coming up. July 1st. Um, also, okay. God bless my mom. It's her birthday. Um, but it will be the unveiling of Diana's um, statue. Oh, perfect. And yeah. so Harry is back in London. Um, mm -hmm. And Harry and William will be attending the event. Uh, okay. Charles will not. Um, you know, I understand the reasoning be behind that, he, that he does not, it's too many bad memories. I, I almost shouldn't say that he doesn't deserve to be there, but I don't, I think that just convolutes things. If he's there, you're just looking at him and, and thinking of the relationship that was yeah. rather than honoring just her as mom and, you know, and right. princess of, of the people and everything. Uh, Kate will also not be there. Princess Catherine will not be there. Okay. And some, you know, people are speculating it's, um they think it's a good decision because they don't want her to draw her into the drama and the mire of everything else oh, so. okay i would just just i was almost thinking like maybe they just thought like since may like maybe since it's like harry's on his own just let harry go like instead of always showing up as they're the couple and then harry's without megan but i yeah, don't know possibility absolutely yeah. um but, i don't know what sort of coverage we'll get for it here other than if you go into you know go and you google royal news today uk and right and right see what headlines they were all are and we'll see pictures and whatnot um yeah i, I don't know yeah that's yeah i was like but the charles thing i understand why he's not going or like i understand the reasoning behind it but on the other side my thinking is like you aren't going so much for her but you're going as the father of your son i can like, see that side of it absolutely. their mother you know that type of deal yeah. um she but, has you know, the stature that she had she's getting a statue because of who she married right yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> so mm -hmm. so i guess uh yeah i'm like i guess what there would be even I'm trying to think what would be less distracting. Like, I guess it's less distracting if he's 
not there, but there's still plenty like this. There's still plenty of speculation. It's like, oh my God, he's not there. Like, can you believe he's not there? <laughs> but if he's yeah, there, they'll be yeah. like, oh my God, he came. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I just, I, I wonder, I, I, it's, I just think there would be a lot, and you know how the press is, it would be oh, yeah. many more um, negative stories and that's true. would come out of that, I really think, than anything. Um, that's true. I, I just, I don't see Harry and Will standing next to each other for this unveiling. Really? I mean, it's my understanding too that, um, oh, who is the uh, royal biographer, wrote the book, Diana? Uh, is Coming it out. the Morton guy? Or yes, no? thank you, yes. Andrew Morton. Yes. Andrew okay. Morton, yeah. So, and he's saying that the brothers rowed, um right after we all saw them walk off together after Prince Philip's. Oh, really? Yeah, so truth or not, I don't know, but that's right, what right. he said, is that, that they really had it out. And I guess William called Megan that bloody woman. And uh, so if, if, if any of that's true, but I just, I mean, these, they, they haven't reconciled anything and I'm finding it hard to believe that they're gonna come together and give each other a nice but, big brotherly hug for their mother's sake. And, right. But they can't even suck it up and just stand next to each other for their mother's sake. I, I'm like, not saying, I don't know what the protocol is. I'm yeah, just, yeah. Oh, yeah, be, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be difficult to, you know. I, right, I don't right. Know. Be but, yeah yeah i'm just like yeah i'm just thinking from a family standpoint it's like suck it up you're both adults yeah like, yeah this check, is check that yeah check that baggage at the door and like go to your mom's uh you know <laughs> statue unveiling for like you know a few hours whatever yeah, it is. whatever it is yes we're not asking you to be besties or say that everything's forgiven. <laughs> like, yeah. No, you know, I, it's, I it's too bad. I think she'd be so brokenhearted, but I, I do wonder if, you know, I don't know. I, I think Harry was just really impacted. So I, it's not fair for me to say that he's impacted more than William was. Right, so, right. Um, he that's was true. younger, so that's why I think it was, you know, he was left yeah. brotherless more than William was. And right. If they say if I from the little bits that I know if I were just like random speculation I would say her life impacted William more and her death impacted Harry more in the sense that I mean on like all accounts she used William as like her crying you know like she gets yes. like from a young age she's crying to him and telling him about all these issues mm -hmm. and you know bringing all of that to such a young kid I feel like he probably has a lot more of that lingering, you know, in his psychology. Yeah. Than yeah. the death. Yeah. Absolutely. Than the tragic Absolutely. death. Absolutely. And I, Harry probably, did, I don't think Harry got that from her because William was already her, you know, the her shoulder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her ear. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so I would see that. But uh, yeah. But also, I say, yeah, it would, it would break her heart in the sense that. It's like, I keep trying to think of them. Okay, if they're just a regular family, how many siblings have falling outs? <laughs> like over way you know, less than mine. Yeah, I know it's like over way less than, than this. It's like, yeah, it probably breaks their mom's hearts. Also, yeah. sometimes the moms are part of it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, yeah. there's all, yeah, there's all kinds of, um, yeah, family issues. So you can only imagine it's that much harder when you're, in the spotlight and in the spotlight in such a way of like well you're born into this <laughs> like, yes yeah you were born into the spotlight and your duty is to be in the spotlight <laughs> yes, it is. let's talk duty. about that let's talk about that duty and being born into it because i've yeah. been wanting to talk about this for a while um, okay Catherine, and you know i i i love her style i think yeah. she's, i think she's i think she's just really and now of course we only see of her what the press wants us right, to see. I right. do believe she's a darling and I do believe um, they are going to just put her best face forward. Right. But that's hard because she never takes a bad picture. But that's what I say. I think she, yeah, I was like, I think she also just is good at making sure that, you know, statistically they'll most likely get her doing good things. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But Amy, you're a little girl mm -hmm. growing up in England. Uh-huh. And you know, where fairy tales are written all about that castle and, and right. marrying the handsome prince. 
and the Queen of England, the right, of England. right. I mean, she, the 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 dominions and the the territories and everything like that. I mean, she's like the most famous woman in the world, right? And that's gonna be you now. You fell in love with the prince. Now right. that's you. Right. I, I, just, I think I'd be a little bit heady about that. Yeah, I think, I, I think my ego would have, you know. She might be really his person, but how do you keep that down? How do you just right, right. go, that's me now. That was right. what a dream that was. And every little girl dreamed that. That's true. It's me. It's me. Right. I just, right. my head goes there a lot sometimes. It's like to, to grow up and think that way. Right. And now suddenly it's, it's you and that's right. going to be you. So that's, yeah, that's a good point because for me, what specifically strikes me is always the, the fan girl origin of it of where she was one of us <laughs> and yes. she had his poster on her bedroom wall yes. <laughs> i mean we all know the slightly stalker <laughs> steps uh, she took uh -huh. to go to his university yeah <laughs> but it's like just thinking of like the fangirl of like oh you had the poster on the wall you dreamed about marrying him and you're like oh you know <laughs> oh shite and, I did. <laughs> and now i have yeah. <laughs> there you go there you go um yeah um you know you probably heard the, th the story too about how the grandmother was, was it the grandmother that tried to throw them together that she insisted that this is the story oh, I heard. Uh -uh. yeah that the grandmother insisted that she go to um uh saint it's, it's andrews right yeah saint andrews yeah andrews. yeah oh her grandmother she, did uh, that oh that's funny yeah that she insisted on that she's the one who wanted to make sure that kate was in that path is that my hair right. or what yeah <laughs> thank you anyway um and uh yeah that that was kind of her concoction making sure that that happened i don't know if that's true i don't know i love um, it well i would say i would like that if that were true just because it's like well at least she had a little bit of like outsiders nudging her she wasn't just like i know what i'll do I'll switch universities to whatever university he goes to. <laughs> like, yeah. If someone else is on the outside, like, no, like you should. There's a ch like this is a good idea. And your grandma of all people. <laughs> yes. Who <laughs> should be wise. <laughs> I just I just think it's, you know, I I don't know. And and suddenly you're wearing the tiaras and the rings and the necklaces right. and everything that um that Diana was wearing, that the queen has worn. Right, that, right. Know, yeah. the queens have worn before you. Right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, man. I, I, hmm, I, yeah. my ego would fly away with that one. I, 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 I don't know. I just think oh, I just think yeah. it's amazing because I think you know she's she's no different. She's not. She isn't royalty raised in royalty who married royalty. You right. Know? It just is, right. She's, Correct. You know, yeah. The girl next door. Yes and no. Now her dad, you know, pulls in millions in his job. Right. So right. But they were running and 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 you know some fairly wealthy circles to begin with. Right, right. But they weren't like wealthy. Yeah, like, uh, you know, an established long term wealthy family. It was just they were business owners that, yeah, were great business. Yeah, owners. yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Developed a great business. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now she gets the 5,000 pound, you know, frock coat and right. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Although what's funny. So the the podcast I listen to, I like they point out uh, all the time, like, it's one of their favorite things is to talk about things she's re-wearing and then be yeah. like uh you know she wore that back in 2010 blah 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 at such and such and you know of course the i'll say probably the the royal stylist those people everything has a meaning associated yeah. with it Absolutely. yeah so uh and i love that but yeah so i do like that it's not like they have to wear something new every time they totally rewear stuff Yes, it's probably expensive stuff to start with, but they are at least, you know, wearing it for like 10 to 20 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, those coats will last forever. Um, yeah. You know, some things will, might go out, out of fashion. I don't know. Right. Um, I think she wears some fairly timeless pieces. She wears some pieces that I would probably never wear. There are a couple of dresses. I'm like, what were you thinking? That's hilarious. Oh. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, they they talk about how much her style has, I guess, gotten not brave, but just like more into fashion. Like they talk about how like, you know, in the beginning it was very conservative, kind of borderline boring, but just like playing it safe. Yes. Yes, yeah. playing it, it safe all the time. And now she'll, yeah. she can kind of have a bit more style. It's not just 
jeans and whatever, you know, she kind of has a bit more uh, yeah, flair to her style now. <laughs> she, she does, and, and, and a more, or she, and, and I think this is intentional also, whether it's coming from her and William or if it's coming from stylists or, you know, or the firm, whatever right. it is, but, you know, you've seen her go on these tours where she has um, the leggings and the, and the, and the, yeah. um, I'm going to say boots, but I'm not talking fashionable boots. I'm talking, you know, um, durable boots. Um, oh, right, right. The, yeah. the wellies, and, I think yeah. is what they call them. Things, yeah. Things like, yeah. um, or, um, or she's wearing jeans and, um, or she's just wearing pants. And I know, you know, the queen was like, never wear pants. Oh, but, right, right. Yeah. Um, but that, that's, that's then this is now. Right. And she's, you know, she's still putting herself forward as, not only professional, but, you know, but as somebody who can be related to now, I'll be, you yes. know, I can't afford the 300 pound pair of jeans right. she's got, but right. she's wearing jeans. Hey, I wear jeans, you know? Exactly. Uh, right, so, right. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I do, I, I like to look what she, she I, I still think she is, she maintains a very conservative um, uh, wardrobe yeah. uh, for the most part. Yeah, it's still, yeah, it's not, it's still not wild. It's not yeah. like way it's out there. Well, it's, it's not like, you've seen that picture where she had the knee high boots with the, was it the green sequin halter? Oh, in the fashion the show? No, not that one. Oh, uh, no, okay. So I, I know I could, I could. I'll have it. to, yeah, no, <laughs> I'll just send yeah. it to you. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to send it to you. Um, but yeah, yeah, the fashion show. Yeah, that's what yeah, we're yeah. Kate, we're doing, or Kate, where Will turned to his friend and said, man, she's hot. Right, right, yeah. Like, well, yeah, she's. <laughs> You've been yeah. living with our people and you hadn't seen that before. That surprises right. me too, but anyway. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. But anyway, yeah. I, I just I just think it's really and that what a fairy tale story. Seriously, I mean that's true. What, what we yeah. define is that. So maybe maybe she has a whole bunch of uh, psychologists behind the scenes to try and keep her grounded. <laughs> like <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's her secret. Uh, but yeah, I always make a point to Piper because she of course loves Disney princesses and all this stuff. Sure. So I make a point to always let her know. There are real princesses and real yes. queens. <laughs> I know. I, I, exactly. Not so much as an aspiration, but just to be like, hey, like that's all fine and dandy. But like these people are like working royals. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm like, what Jackie? That's a real princess. And she's yeah. like, oh. I mean, she doesn't know the difference between that and Snow White on TV. Oh, that's great. But yeah, right. I love, yeah, there's something that I was talking about with Piper the other day. I forget why, but whatever it was, I said, well, that's in. England like you know we'll talk about England she doesn't exactly know what it is but she <laughs> hears about it and she's like can I go to can we go to England I was like someday she's like can we go today I was like no nope. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to go today well, yeah, yeah, it was like yeah, yeah it's <laughs> like you know, right it's like you know how grandma and grandpa are like really 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 far away well England's like really 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 <laughs> it's like how many really yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah that that non-concept of time or right. or not having something i remember when steven was little and he comes up i mean and i do mean little 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 yeah mommy i want goldfish and i went to the pantry and said honey we don't have any goldfish but i want some goldfish i said you know that honey but we don't have any okay can i have some goldfish yep. i'm like there there is no goldfish and he's like but i want the goldfish and I, I i i think that was one of those moments it went on and on i ended up going to my closet closed the door and screaming at the top of my lungs but I'm glad that you brought that up because Piper is, yeah, Piper's going through that a bit. And I didn't realize, because I don't read mom books, I didn't realize that's a thing. And so I'm just like, I told you we don't have it. So like now I'll be like, we'll have to put on the list and get it to the store. Can we go to the store now? No, next time we go to the store. So now when she wants something though, she'll just, and we don't have it, she'll go, can we get it at the store? And she calls it the storm, but it's just like, can we get it at the storm? And I'm like, so she knows like whenever we're going to the storm apparently we've got like this long list of stuff <laughs> well yeah. jackie of course jackie has an intellectual disability so she doesn't get a lot of things but so we're at the beach and i said okay jackie five more minutes i said we're gonna you and i are gonna go in we're gonna get washed up mm -hmm. and she i never get sass from this girl and for those of you from our, our northern friends sass is a southern term for talking back to your parents and disrespect and um so i said um she, she looks at me she goes no, I stay here. You go by yourself. Oh my God. And I, you know me already. And I, all I have to do is I just went and she, she does this. 
And I said, you have five more minutes and we're going yeah. upstairs. The next morning, Jose and Jackie and I are eating breakfast. Mm -hmm. And she goes, I sorry, I sassy. And I said, that's right. And Jose said, Jackie, when were you sassy? She goes, the last two years. <laughs> Jose, I said, you're never going to get a blanket apology from me like that. <laughs> right, right. That's, a little, that's so funny. That's the hilarious. Years. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, Piper, when she talks about time, yeah, it's like she doesn't have a concept of time either. But what's funny is um, she does this thing a lot of times on the weekends when we don't have anywhere to go, where she'll tell me like, I have to get ready for the show. I, it's like, who knows what the show is going to be, but she's always getting ready for the show. So she goes like puts on her shoes, does things and like, I'll be in the bathroom or whatever. And she'll come, she came in and she was like, the show's starting in five minutes. <laughs> I go, and I go, five minutes. She goes, it's two minutes. <laughs> I like ran out of the room. <laughs> she's like always rush. I don't know what show she's watching, but it's like, she's always rushing around. Like she's backstage somewhere <laughs> trying to get ready for a show. Pleasure. Yeah, yeah. And then the show this past weekend was that Santa Claus was here. <laughs> Hmm. Wow, I am really behind. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was like, yeah, Jackie might be drawing uh jack-o'-lanterns, but Piper's already on to Christmas. <laughs> Jackie is forever on Halloween. She is forever on Halloween. I love it. Always, always, always. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. well, I think I think um hello. Uh we have company. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Can we and Sophia get a snack? What did you say? Yes, you may get a snack. Go ahead, honey. <laughs> Who wrote the note? It's Sophia. I said I thought. <laughs> Jack the Sophia note? is over here. <laughs> Jackie comes with like the proclamation. Can Jackie and Sophia get a snack? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, cool. I love them. Oh, okay. So, yes. so the swim team. Swim team here, like everything in Fairfax County, is very intense. Mm -hmm. And you don't just do a little bit of it for fun. You do it because it's like all, in, it's all intensive. Right. Um, my boys did it um, mm -hmm. for a couple of years. Um, but the entire neighborhood, we have a very large neighborhood. I think we have 500 no homes in our neighborhood. So, and we've had like, if I, we've had this like exfoliation of families. So like original owners from 35 years ago, they're all, yeah. they raised their kids. They're moving out now. Oh, okay. So now you have, we have this influx of young families and mm -hmm. so many young kids now in this yeah. neighborhood, which is great. It's awesome. Um, but our swim team now, we have 200 kids on the swim team now. Whoa. And that's the most it's ever been. It's huge. So, yeah. um, and we do competitive. So the, the, the other neighboring neighborhoods, wow. well, um, we compete against them. Sometimes they travel to Maryland to do this. Yeah. But it isn't just, you're not just on swim team. And Jackie doesn't compete. We're, we put her in here, in her we put her in it to make her a better swimmer. She needs to learn mm -hmm. to, to be a safe swimmer, right. but also for the socializing, especially right. coming from COVID. You don't just go to the pool every day for swim practice, which alone is, is a great thing. Yeah. 10 o'clock, Jackie and I are at the pool and she's in that hour, she's getting fresh air and exercise. Oh, wow. That's every awesome. day, Monday through Friday, which is fantastic. Right. Every Monday morning, we do breakfast for the kids. Yesterday, yeah. what is today? Today's Tuesday, yeah. So yesterday morning, um, and I've been doing this for the last seven years. Um, me and a few other moms, we pull the griddles out and we go out to the pool pavilion yeah. and we make chocolate chip pancakes for all the oh, kids. Wow. Every Monday, there's a breakfast. Every right. Friday evening, there's a pep rally. Every Saturday morning, there's an A meet. Every Monday evening, there's a B meet. And during the week, for example, this week, tomorrow there is crafting with Jen. So we're going to go over and do make yeah. crafts for the younger kids. And then we go bowling on Thursday. And pretty soon we're going to the trampoline park and they do karaoke for the kids and they'll do Jeez. bingo night and movie night. It, it, is, it is five weeks of constant activity and entertainment for the kids. And it's, it's such a fun thing. And it yeah. really binds these kids together in the neighborhood together. But this, you're yeah. like essentially running a summer camp. It, that's, that is what it is. <laughs> that, that is exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, so I'm out of the pool every day with Jackie wow. um, because I've, Still don't trust it. her coaches are um preteens. Oh, okay. I don't I don't trust that they're keeping an eye on her constantly. Right, um, right. but uh yeah, so we're out there every morning and right. um getting fresh air and 
I can't say I'm getting exercise, but at least I'm getting adult interaction with the other. Yeah, moms. yeah, right, right. So that's yeah. it. Yeah. So that is that is summer here, mm -hmm. and um, and it's great. We're not dealing with grades and who hasn't done what homework and right, right. That's stuff. true. Yeah, you get a, yeah. you all get a break <laughs> from that. We all get a break from that for sure. Yes. So that's awesome. Yeah. Well, well, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to make us in our tea time because i you have yeah i have an appointment <laughs> i but, totally get that totally get that but thank you for starting early with me and you no, know forever. are you going to be at tea on friday do you me? know that yeah i was like is the swim is the swim what, team what's gonna going on the swim team? i have no idea i don't know um it's also coming into fourth of july weekend all right um we'll see we'll see okay so if i can pop in for a few minutes Hog the conversation, and yeah. uh, and then <laughs> I know I'm so sad about that. I'm so sorry. You're not you're not at all. It's great. Uh, yeah, it's like jo Josh made a cameo from Hawaii last week. Just go, it's like he's so busy and can't come on anymore. But he's like, I just wanted to say, <laughs> I'm here. I haven't died. I'm alive. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. But yeah, but we had some yeah some pretty interesting fun talks. But um. Yeah, you were you were missed, and I, we didn't have Cheryl or Tammy Sue, uh, and I didn't have yeah I didn't have a note from Tammy. We all talked about it, so we're like calling people out. <laughs> like, I didn't get a note <laughs> that you're gonna be absent. She must be flying high though with that new grandchild. So right, that's true. Yeah, and then uh, Trevor and Kat they told me that uh since i'm always talking about my mom and like saying things to my mom because she watches all of them uh they're like we want we want you to bring your mom like have your mom actually show up next week or whatever it's like i was like we could try i was like she knows she's invited she doesn't want to come on camera but so then oh. was, so then i was like call her out her name is carrie turner <laughs> carrie turner i know you're watching this you need to come on be our guest <laughs> Tell us, what a, tell us what a naughty little child Amy was when she was growing up. <laughs> right. I was an angel. 95% uh, of the time I was an angel. <laughs> okay. Mr. This is when Amy needs to look in the camera and go, I'm sorry, I sassy mom for the last yeah, I know. That's, years. Right, right. That's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, my, my mom texted me afterwards and she's like, it, there's a conspiracy because <laughs> we're like all against trying to get her on. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh gosh. So I think that would be fun. continues. I think she should come on. I do. I know. I agree. So, so I'll have to get, yeah, get my brother or somebody on the tech for that. Get her on the Zoom up in yeah. Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I already have teas picked out for the next go around. Okay. Um, so Perfect. Uh, I will get in touch with you after. Uh, we'll start texting again as to when yep. we can set this up because I have vacation number two on the okay. calendar as well. Perfect. So, um, but yeah, I look forward to it. Yes. And our final picking. So, what my final picking was Merlot, Sangria, then ice wine. Was Absolutely. That yours? I, yeah. I would say so. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And they were delicious. Thank you for sharing. Always enjoy. Yes. Absolutely. Well, right, thank then. you so much. Thanks everyone thank for watching. Absolutely. <laughs> Take care. Amy. All right. Cheers. Bye. Bye.